and this outfit is going to be in two sections the upper part and the lower part and we are going to be starting with the upper part and today we are using inches and we are also going to work with two measurements that's the vertical measurement that's the measurement coming from up straight down why the horizontal measurement is the measurement going across we are going to be using pattern paper to take the measurement make sure you have enough pattern paper that will cover your drafting I'm going to be using marker because I want you to see my lines vividly at home. So as for you, I will encourage you to use a pencil to do your drafting. When you make mistakes along the line, have your razor by your side to always erase and continue. When we finish taking our measurement with this pattern paper, we cut it out. Then we cannot use it to cut out the real fabric. Like that, we are not using our fabric for try and error. The pattern paper that I've cut out is for both the front and the back measurement. It's only one quarter of the body. First, we are going to create our start line. This start line happens to be the shoulder line, just an inch away from your pattern paper. The measurement that we are using for the upper part, the shoulder is 11, the circumference of the bust is 34, and the circumference of the waist is 28. You can use any measurement that you like. But when you follow every step that I'm going to take here today, definitely you will get the same result. Number one, the boss vertical measurement. My boss vertical measurement is seven and a half. So from this shoulder line, I'm going to measure down my seven and a half. Number two, the waist vertical measurement. My waist vertical measurement is 15 and a half. So from the shoulder down, I'm going to mark 15 and a half. Number three, the waistband. The waistband is one and a half. So when I add one and a half to 15 and a half, I'll have 17. So I'm going to mark 17. Now I'm going to rule out the lines to the back side. Then I'll label the lines so that we know which is which as we go further. This is the shoulder line, the bust line, waist line, and the band line. That's the waistband line. Number four, the shoulder measurement. My shoulder measurement is 11. When I divide 11 by 2, I'll have five and a half so I'm going to measure that five and a half along this shoulder line then number five the next circumference my next circumference is 16 when I divide 16 by 2 I'll have 8 that 8 I'm going to measure three and a half at the center front that's for the depth of the neckline and a half here then at the shoulder line I'm going to measure four and a half so with a French curve I'm going to connect this point to this point if you don't have a French curve please carefully maneuver it with your hand for the neck band we are going to measure 1.2 down from this neckline here and you go like this And connect to the French curve. Number six, the bust circumference. My bust circumference is 34. When I divide 34 by 4, I'll have eight and a half. Then I'm going to measure that eight and a half along this bust line here. Number seven, the waist circumference. My waist circumference is 28. When I divide 28 by 4, I'll have seven. There's no dot at the front. So I'm not going to be adding that allowance, it's only at the back. I will also measure 7 at the down part for the waistband. Number 8, creating of the armhole. To create the armhole, I'm going to measure 3.5 at this bottom line here. And you go like this with it. This bottom line here. Then, we are going to connect this point now. To this point with a French curve. Number nine, creating of the princess cut. For us to do that, I'm going to measure three and a half from this ammo line here. Here, I come to the waistline and measure three. Then we are going to connect this point to this point. Then we are going to connect this point to this point with a straight ruler. 
connect this point to this point straight. We finished with the front, we are going to construct the back. I draw a line to separate the front from the back. To create the back, I'm going to measure 8 inches along this bust line here going through the back. And I'll come to the down part and measure the same. For the band, I'll still measure the same, 8 inches. Then. For the back that I'm going to measure four inches from the waistline, half an inch on the other side, half an inch on this side, like that. For the center line, three and a half. Then connect this point to this point, this point to this point. So the last one is the extension of this neck band here going to the back, which is eight inches by 1.2 so we are going to take it from this empty space so let's measure 1.2 from here i'm measuring more than it will cut it off later we've gotten all the parts the next thing is to label all the parts and cut them out this is one two three four five and six so we have six parts that we are going to cut out right now the next thing is to cut them out then we cannot use it to cut our fabric this is the fabric that i'm going to be using for the dress and the top the two in one it's a stretchy fabric as you can see stretching on both sides and i've already cut out the upper part pieces as you can see I've pinned them down to the fabric. The fabric is on the fold. I folded it into two. And the center front cut is on the fold. That's why it's at this edge here. Why the front side cut double? It's going to be double. It's not on the fold. And the back cut is on the fold. That's why it's also at the edge here. So, because it's a stretchy fabric, it doesn't need seam allowance but i'm just going to give it maybe 0.2 inch just a little bit at the side in case i want to overlock it yes that's why i give this little gap in between and this is the waistband i've already cut it out it's on a stretchy black fabric this part here is the part between the front and the back but i've concealed it to enable me cut it one piece. I'm just explaining to you in case you have it in yours so you know what to do. And this one is the neck band. As you can see the front one. And this one is going to the back. You can see this side is straight. But you can slant it like this. So that you can join both together successfully so this is 100% black cotton it's not a stretchy fabric because we don't need a stretchy fabric for the neckband please take note of that so we've gotten all the parts now I'm going to cut this out then we cannot sew them together this is for the bottom part i folded it into two like this the length is 60 by 60 and the bottom part is a circle flare i'm going to open it up and fold it back for you to see and it's folded into two then i'm going to fold it again like this now folded it into four this is the angle that we're going to work with arrange it properly then you bring this edge to meet with this other end like this then it's going to be like this I 
I brought this one to meet this like that then we are going to fold it one more time then we bring this to meet this like this the measurement that I'm using for the circle skirt is 26 the full length now is 29 up to this point I bring it to the other end and measure 29 also. Then we are going to trim, as you can see, we are going to trim from here. To this part we've taken that part off now so this is 26 here then you come to this point and also measure 26 26 so it's going to be like this and when you measure this part now, it's almost two inches. We are not going to use two inches. We are going to shift it a little bit. It's better for it to be small than for it to be too wide. Yes, so we can increase it later to get the measurement that we want. So I'm going to use 1.5 inches. Like that. I'm going to bring it down a little bit to 1.8 inches. We are going to measure it now to see if we have that 28. You can see we have exactly 28, which is not bad at all. That's exactly what we want. So we're on the right track. So I use 1.8 to cut it and I got this. So we have the full circle flare now, as you can see. So what I'm going to use for the bottom. The next thing is the sewing part for us to join everything together. I'm going to join the top together, then join the top and the bottom together. I'll take you along as I sew them together. I'm going to cut them out now. Like I said, I'm going to add a little bit of the same allowance. I've trimmed them down and I added a little bit of a seam allowance for overlocking. I'm going to remove the pins and overlock and bring them together. Just want to notch the, the center. This is two separate parts. Now we are ready to sew them together. I'm going to overlock the bottom first. Overlocking is optional. If you don't have overlocking machine, don't bother yourself. Join them together just like that. Then I'm going to overlock the waist part. I'm overlocking the back side. Overlock the band. Aim the bottom of the skirt first. Joining the band to the bottom waist. I'm 
I'm joining the two sides to the center front. I'm taking in the two back that. I'm joining the top front to the top back on both sides. I'm joining the neck band with the interlining together. I just open the front of the neck band three and a half inches from the center to this point, three and a half inches from the center to this point. This is where I'm going to turn it out on. I'll show you when I finish. This is the neck band. I've been able to put them together. I don't know if you can see it vividly. There is a joint here and there's also a joint here. I've joined the back band to the front band. Also joined this part to the front band. Now it's one piece. There's an opening here. I was able to turn both sides out through this opening here. So when we join the body to this part, it will be covered. So I want you to take note of that if you are creating this neck band. That's what I'm explaining to you so that you know how I came about this neck band. This part here is going to come to this particular part here. When I put it together, it's going to be like this. It's going to be something like this and this part is going to go to the back like this it's going to be something like this after joining them together this is the bottom of the outfit i've already emptied the end part as you can see and i've sewn a little piece of black cloth on this particular part and this happens to be the center the center front of the bottom so because there's an opening here I just use this piece of black fabric to mark where the opening is so that you know exactly where to draw the rope that I'm going to pass through later so I don't start looking all over for it so I've marked it out with this black little piece of cloth I'm going to pass this rope all around the edges I'm going to pass it through like this put a safety pin then pass it through like this all the way round you can use any color of rope it doesn't really matter because the rope is not going to be visible it's going to be hidden if you are using your own measurement the length of the rope might be shorter or it might be longer depends on the size that you are using to cut out your outfit it varies measure around the bottom so that you know how many inches of rope that will go round the bottom I have attached the weight band to the skirt I'm finishing the top now I'm going to attach the top to the waist so that it can be one piece before you do that you make sure that the opening to draw this rope is at the center front of this top this rope is to shorten the length of the skirt to become a top when you drag this rope Tight to fit your waist, tie it on the inside. The surplus of this rope, you put it in automatically. This skirt will now be shortened. That's what that rope is for. So make sure it's at the center before you join the top to the bottom. So, if you want to join the top, all you need to do is very easy turn this band backwards like this. Then you cannot see the edge where you join the skirt to the band. You are not going to join it at the extreme end of the waistband. You are going to bring it inside where the joining of the skirt to the band is. This line here, this down line here. That's where you are going to join this upper part with. So make sure the side seam is at the extreme edge here. Then you pin it like this. Like this. You join this side seam at the other end up like this that's how you are going up 
then you pick this like that. All the way around. Then you're going to sew it all the way around like that. The neckband, we're going to put press button on them. One here, one here. Then, then one here, one here to be able to snap it to the back like this. When you don't need it anymore, you want to change this dress to another style, you cannot release the neckband. That will enable you to change it to any side that you want to change it to. The press body will be on both sides. You can use a bigger press body to make it more stronger. The dress is ready. Yes, it's not a full dress. The purpose of me creating this dress is for you to know that you can bring out different type of styles from this particular dress. So when people see you wearing the same fabric in different styles, they are going to feel you have collection of it. And that's the pressure I want them to have. I'm going to be wearing some of these size. I'm also going to be putting some on my dress form. So at the end, you are going to see the different styles that you can bring out of this dress. So it's worth knowing how to sew. To so get the style one from the actual dress, that is this gown top, all you need to do, draw the rope at the bottom, tie it to your waist and put the surplus of the rope inside, then you will get this look. To get the style two from the actual dress, all you need to do, put the waistband from your waist up to the upper bust. And that's it. Then you get this look. To get this tattoo look from the actual dress, all you need to do, pull your waistband to the upper chest, then tie the rope underneath to your waist, then put the surplus inside, then you have this look. To get this tattoo from the actual dress, all you need to do, pull your waistband from your waist to the upper bust, very close to the neckband, then draw the rope under the damp part, tie to your waist, put the surplus of the rope inside, then you have this look. I think we've come to the end of this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video with others so that they can know that there is a channel that they can discover things they've not seen in fashion world before. And if you've not subscribed to this channel, please try and do so. This is a discovery channel. A lot that you've not seen in fashion world before are going to be coming on this channel please subscribe and I like to read your comments and if you have any comment whatsoever don't forget to leave it at the comment section below I'll be more than glad to answer all your questions to the best of my knowledge and don't stop on this video there are other videos lined up for you to watch I know you are going to like some of them because they are videos that you've never seen before go check them out you'll like them thanks for watching see you in my next video God bless you